is my co-host Yama Hazir and Tariq Ahmad. And we're actually going to get into some NBA first. And of course, Tariq, you told me plenty of times uh, LeBron deserves to be the best player in, in, in the world. So, And you've been saying this for the past few years. Yep. So what do you think about him gaining that popularity and, and surpassing Kobe? About time. Uh, uh, Kobe has been winning for the past couple of years. Well, he's been the most popular player in the game or in the league definitely, because of uh, you know there's you know there's so many Laker fans yeah you know and uh, much respect to them uh, I'm not gonna you know make fun of them or anything that's <laughs> yeah. much once you know Kobe's <laughs> uh, well deserved Kobe's well deserved but today this year finally about time LeBron wins the most popular it doesn't really say much but it just it just shows that LeBron's the best player in the game he's been for the past you know a couple of years uh, obviously he's coming off a back-to-back championship and back to back NBA MVPs and all that so uh, well deserved, uh, great player. Doesn't mean as much uh, because uh, Kobe was only 0.5 percent away, you know, to you know winning it again. So it doesn't mean much, but it just shows that you know LeBron deserves it, and of course he's a champion. And uh, I don't know, three peat might be coming. Yeah, a lot of people see that toughness playing a huge part in Kobe's popularity. <clears throat> Yama, where do you where do you see him ranking uh, amongst popularity? I mean, do you think is it right? I mean, on the West Coast, he's going to be number one for sure. But when it comes down to the East, it's going to be LeBron. I mean, this guy's won back-to-back championships. He's going to be on the cover of NBA 2K14. And now he's the most popular player in the league. I don't think anything could be going better for this guy. And now, I mean, ranking Kobe. I mean, Kobe, to me, I like him a little more. I watched him a little more while I was growing up. LeBron came into the league a little later. But for now, I could definitely see why LeBron's number one. I'm surprised he's only leading by... 0.5% 0.5% because I mean he just won back-to-back championships Kobe's been out of league with the injury and it's funny because Derrick Rose was actually among the top five too and he hasn't even played this season but what was surprising to me was Kevin Durant he only had what 3%, 3.6% yep I mean that's I mean I expected a lot more for Kevin Durant but then again when you're competing against the King and the Black Mamba it's kind of hard to hang in there absolutely yeah it was, uh... Go ahead. Oh, well, the thing is, LeBron, I mean, he still has that Cleveland curse on him. People are yeah. still blaming on him. People are saying that leaving the Miami Heat, I mean, leaving, joining the Miami Heat, it was actually um, not a bad decision, but it was a, a selfish easy decision. Way out. A selfish decision yeah. for, for selfish LeBron James. Yeah. So where do you rank him amongst the role players? I know we've talked about this before, but this popularity, what does this lead, to, lead you to? Uh, about in your, LeBron? In your, in your opinion about LeBron and Kobe. Where, uh, do, they, where do they... Rank amongst I, I sort of players. look at this way. I sort of look at it as uh, Kobe Bryant had his time, and now it's uh, for LeBron to take over. You know uh, what they call you know quote unquote the torch. You know Kobe's sort of passing the torch off to LeBron, and of course you know Kobe. It sucks to see any kind of player go down with the injury. Was Derrick Rose or Kobe Bryant? Even though Kobe's getting old, but you still don't want to see him go. Uh, you know go down with the injury. But for me, like I said, it really it just it just sort of for me is. Uh, LeBron's taking over the league, of course, back-to-back championships, back-to-back NBA MVPs and finals MVPs and all that. And of Kobe's getting old, you know, he's sort of on his, you know, downfall of his career. So sort of like, here, take this torch. And it's coming from the NBA fans, you know. We respect Kobe Bryant. He's a great player, but LeBron's the best player now. He's the most popular and all the other stuff. But yeah, th- you know, it kind of speaks of that. Not really a big case. And off of what Targ said, what do you, what do you respond to that with? I mean, all of this is going to lead to a lot of endorsements, obviously, for yeah. LeBron. Like I say, he's on the cover of 2K14. He has contract deals with Nike, Gatorade, so many other things. And then Kobe, I know he's lost a lot of contracts. And like you said, that the Cole Cleveland thing kind of brought LeBron down with a lot of hate. But also, Kobe, looking back in the early decade, he did have a trial that made a lot of people hate him too. Yeah. So that yeah. also brings him down a lot more. But when you look at the list, when you look at guys like Derrick Rose and the Kevin Durant and the Dwayne Wade, they haven't done much to receive any hate. I mean, I can see why Dwight Howard's not on the list anymore just because of what he's done to L.A., to Orlando. Maybe not as bad as what LeBron did on national TV, but when it comes down to it, he's out of the picture, and it's just going to come down to LeBron and Kobe, and those are two faces of the league.